How you doing YouTube? This is Chuck. Chuck back with Chuck's Hobby Spot here. So I wanted to do a quick video on these two specific kits. I have these in different variations, but these are the two that I picked to, to show you guys. So uh, these kits, they're vintage, they're collectible, um, getting hard to find. I found both these kits at Andy's and and I bought this one wrapped with the the strap still on it, you know, back when kits were like four and a quarter. This kit's complete, it's still in the box. I bought this with his big collection he bought. This I bought I don't know, before that I'm pretty sure. I, I think I met Matt there, Lucas E. And uh he bought a couple. I think he bought this particular one and and uh I ended up buying this one still wrapped and I didn't pay top dollar for it because Andy's not like that. You know, I mean, he doesn't really charge, you know, top dollars for those kind of kits. He just tries to get rid of them. So anyway, I'm babbling on, but this kit here, I priced it, you know, 175, 200, and about the same with this kit. Uh, full disclosure, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now, this video might, really upset some of you guys and it, it you guys might send hate mail but i i'm straight up just gonna say i'm i'm a builder i'm not a collector so so uh if you guys don't have the heart to watch me break this kid open turn this video off because that's what i'm gonna do this kit's already open so uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the two kits and what, if you ever wanted to buy this kit, which, you know, I don't know, maybe some of you guys do. I I used to own a Z28 like this, a 79. So I, I actually want to build it. I don't know if I'm going to build it the way I had it, but, but I'm going to build it. I might do it the way my dad had his. So he had a red one. So anyway, so... Uh, before we start unboxing this, I, I wanted to say you guys should go check out a new guy on YouTube. It's a friend of mine. He's in my, my model club. He, his name's Louie Myers, but his video it, or his YouTube name is Autistic Modeler. Check him out. It, he, he does some good videos. He could be the new HPI guy. He, he does like professional videos, man. I couldn't believe how good his first video was. So check it out. Get to know him. Subscribe. I'll put uh I'll put a picture of his whoops almost spilled my coffee. I'll, I'll put a picture of his YouTube channel somewhere whoa. Somewhere here. Right here. I tried to do that, but I don't know if it works, so <laughs> that's a Lucasy thing, so I don't know, it's an inside joke, I guess. So anyway, let's uh let's get started, fellas. First, let's, let's do the kit that's open. These are both MPC kits. I'll show you guys the box art. Let me see if I can pan out. Well, that's as much as we're gonna pan out, so. So that's the box art on here. Okay. Just, just like the cover. Yeah. Oh, vintage. Look at $10 back a long time ago, I bet. Uh, I don't even remember what I paid for this. So we are breaking, breaking the plastic on this kit. So you can tell I've never opened it. Oh, I'm sorry for this, guys. I should have prepared for this so a lot of these this kit sold it's you know came off the trees and stuff so bear with me on this okay so the interior bucket not too bad Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit details Pretty good. 
on every Camaro front front piece is not on so it's separate pretty cool firewall I sand all this stuff out so fan shroud the hood got a little bit of a melting going on but I can fix all that not a big deal let's get this body out before body's kind of nice so far pretty nice so the hood goes on there yeah some trimming to do on this that that ain't nothing though that's the easy stuff that's why we're modelers so like the chin spoiler there or maybe that's the rear yep it's the deck spoiler engine halves cylinder heads all, all this stuff is off so a lot of flash but you know it's an old kit we'll make it happen we always do right the other seat some good details on these seats let me see if I can get this lighting in here a little bit better How's that, guys? We'll go like that. There we go. The bumper, rear bumper. I'd sand all this off, so. This can be a pretty cool kit. The chassis, I like that. It's not bad. It seems like it's complete. I think I'm missing some exhaust in here. Maybe it isn't complete, but tires, chrome tree, decals. See this chrome tree here. You guys know how I build. I don't use a lot of this stuff, so so yeah. Oh, there's the exhaust right here. Did I miss this tree? No, I didn't. I showed it to you, but I was real quick about it. So it's all molded in, but I can make do with that. As long as it ain't molded in the body. So that's pretty much this kit in a nutshell. Instructions. Typical old instructions. I can pan out here. Let me do this. I'll throw this back in here. Throw all this stuff back in here. And we won't get all. Okay. Let's throw this to the side. Now, for the moment of everybody getting angry with me, they say this kit with this on there is pretty rare to have. So maybe we'll just take it off there like this. I really don't care, guys. It doesn't matter to me. Check it out. We're really doing this. See how old this plastic is? It's like breaking, huh? Well, this kit deserves to breathe. It's like fine wine. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's take a look at the box art. Street Savage Z28. It's got full NASCAR interior. That's kind of cool. 
I'd like to build it a little towards a street version, but kind of original. The windows. Not too bad, I can fix that. It's melted a little bit, but I fixed way worse. Just ask Jeff Bowman. Let's take a look at the chrome pack first. Steel wheels. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely not using any of these wheels. Yeah, definitely a lot to be had with this. I mean, get a. And we all know the decals are going to be junk. So that's nothing that's going to really break the bank on this kit either. So take a look at the instructions. Probably similar to the last one. I think the other one's a Turbo Z. This video might be long, you know, a bit extended just because, you know. It shows us all the MPC kits on here. That's pretty cool that were made back in this time. That's pretty neat. I might start looking for some if I don't have them. Yes. There's the interior they're talking about. I bet we can do something cool with that. Tires are still pretty pretty nice for being so old. So let's get this all back in there. And we'll take a look what's in the bags. Again, a lot of this is just how they bagged them, I guess. I don't know what that is. Some of the parts, Jeremy. Well, the body. This is what everybody likes to see. So let's kind of look at it. <sighs> Easy to clean up. This kit has been sitting on my desk for ever because I wanted to do this video. It's the front end, same as the blue one. I think the grill and the blue one's a little different. This looks to be about the same. This one's molded in green, if you couldn't tell. The other one's in blue. I'm assuming the chassis is going to be pretty close to the same. It's a nice chassis. Oh, look at that. That's for the interior, so you can do like, yeah, we might have to just pro street this thing. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. You know me, I like a good pro street. You do a lot of sanding on that stuff. Seats are the same as the blue ones. But if we do a pro street, the hood's a lot nicer than the blue one. Engine half still on the tree. Battery needs some work. It's a roll cage. I'd probably build my own. And this is typically going to probably be the same as the blue one. I think this is a little more detailed. This is another dash. That's cool. Oh, it's definitely gonna be a pro street. I think that's another dash. Super cool. But I think that one piece goes over all this, so. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. I could be totally wrong, guys. Oh, but then again, I'm probably not, because look at the seat. 
which I would never use it, but, but it, it's cool. Versus the stock. You can build it two ways. So, I am done with that kit review, and I'm sorry it wasn't a great kit review, but, but at least you guys got to see what was in this box. So, um, I am going to do a, a, a pretty thorough kit review on, on, on this kit soon, the one Dave got. This is a neat kit. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to do a kit review on this because I really want to build this kit. I'm a builder. I'm not a collector. So I've said that, I don't know, probably a kajillion, million, trillion times. But uh, most of us are builders. I don't really collect too much. So I collect die cast though. So. so maybe I should do some die cast videos. So. But anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to share is I bought this stuff because I seen seen somebody using this, and, and I think it's Stuart uh, Supple or something like that. But it's it's his product line, and, and it's for like chrome paint. You can actually brush this stuff on. But yeah, it, it's a small bottle. But uh, uh, it's a small bottle. Let me see if I can try to get it out of here. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. I've seen some good stuff on here, so I'm going to try doing that. Maybe we'll do a review on the Chrome, because everybody is looking for that answer about Chrome. So, Anyway, so this video is going way, way, way long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. I hope you guys enjoyed everything on the video, and uh, sorry I broke your heart by opening this box up. <laughs> and I'm sorry for this long 17-minute video. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys in the next video. And why do you guys keep watching this crap? I don't know. You guys take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holidays. Be safe. Take care. Bye.